All right, guys. Uh, welcome to the Tully channel. I think I'm going to name this channel uh, Amero Trash Telemarker or Amero Trash Telemarketer. See, like the dogs are here. We're going to try to let them out and see if it doesn't uh, disturb things too much. Um, like a thousand people watched the last video, so I guess people are enjoying the Telemark videos and we're getting ready for the season. So today's video is about Telemark boots, the boots I have, why I have them, and um, what I want to see in the future generation of Scarpa boots, because allegedly they're making new boots. Who knows is this is going to happen? We need new boots. But... Um, what we got is the TX Pro. It's my daily driver. Um, ever since I went to um, the uh, Majo, um, I, I'm limited to this boot and um, the old TX Pro because um, the TX Comp, which I used to, was my resort boot, um, does not have um, tech toe. So um, I, I, first off, they need to update this boot with tech toe. I don't know why they didn't do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so. The TX Comp is a great boot, um, but it's really just like an all-rounder. Um, I keep this boot around because it's it's all broken in and it's a little bit lighter. And I put a um, a wrap liner in it, and the wrap liner is super comfortable. It's more comfortable than this other liner. I highly recommend going with a wrap um, if you're uh, if you just want to, you know, be in a comfortable boot because um, a lot of people don't know that. Um, you know, you, you can replace the liners, and if you replace the liner on a boot that's packed in, it's really worn out, it's really like a nice soft boot. So, um, you know, I, I actually really enjoy these boots, and fortunately I've been able to get parts for them, but the, um, the uh, walk mode has broken over the years. And these have much better walk mode, and um, I'm going to put another, a wrap liner in these because um, they'll be super comfortable as well. Um, but this is what we have and um what would we like to see you know um as i've transitioned more towards touring i've seen um i look at what the at people have and they're ahead of us on boots um so like cody townsend i watched his videos he was talking about um that solomon makes like a breathable liner um i'd really like to see that because when i tour a lot in the intuition liner my my feet sweat a lot and it, be, it actually becomes problematic where I get like a lot of moisture. Um, and so if you're watching this, I highly recommend getting a, a boot dryer. Uh, Pete makes a great boot dryer because um, it, if you start your boot out on a boot dryer, first off, they're going to be bone dry. You know, no, no explanation there. But I used to get like mold and shit from you know skiing every day when I when I lived in Steamboat because if your boots don't ever get to dry out, you can get like really nasty mold and shit. But anyway, the other benefit of a boot dryer is that um, if you start with your liner warm in the morning and it's a cold day, it's gonna stay warm. Like, that's why you definitely don't wanna like leave your boots in your truck, you know, in the back, or you wanna you wanna start with warm boots. Um, but really it's amazing what how good they feel when you, they're warm. But, um, but yeah, so those are the boots. On, on a resort day, um, I would actually still prefer to this boot. It's much more supportive for when I'm like just charging. But the fact that it doesn't have the um, the uh, tech toe, I mean, I don't know why Scarpa didn't do that. Um, I don't know if the Majo is going to be the best binding for all out charging at the resort. Like, I think, um, you know, the free rides are still pretty viable. So these are good boot to keep around. Um, but yeah, so what do we want to see in the future? of Tully, Tully boots. Um, what I'd like to see is a lightweight boot with a breathable liner. Um, and if you look at the Denefit boots, I'll send, I'll put a link and I'll, and I'll flash in a picture of, uh, of what I'm talking about. But what they have now is like this, um, it's this, uh, you change from walk mode into, um, tour mode with just the flick of this lever. And so that releases your, your, um, you know, your heel, your walk mode, but then it, it also, un, um, loosens the boot, like the, the upper at the same time. I think the next boot should totally have that. I think it should be, um, I still would like to see a four buckle boot. I don't want to see a low boot. Um, I, I really need a higher boot to drive the skis when I am going downhill. Um, I don't know how much they can they can save on the the 
the um, shell. I mean, I think I don't I don't necessarily know that we want to just like try to eliminate shell weight that much. But if they did that um, and really focused on giving more range of motion for um, for walking, um, and then just made that one flick of the switch with uh, with a breathable liner, or at least the option, maybe Scarpa could cut, start selling a breathable liner, like how they sell a wrap. I also think the new boot should just have a wrap. I don't think it should have, I mean, the old TX, the old T2s had wraps, um, so they used to use wraps, so I think they should go back to the wrap. Um, if they did that, I mean, pretty much be the perfect boot for me for touring, um, you know, I don't, I don't really want to see like an alien. Like I don't want to see a, a an AT style boot and the F1, I, I'd, I'd love to try it, but I'm suspicious that, you know, if it's only a three buckle boot, um, I really need the power, you know, the high boot with the power, um, for when I'm actually skiing. And, um, you know, like I'm not, I'm not going uphill like primarily, like primarily I go uphill because I want to enjoy the downhill not just to like run a marathon. So yeah, this is a new video. Um, that's what I think about the boots. And um, it's gonna be a great season. And if you're in the market for some really good tequila, try this tequila, it's called Lalo. It's like uh, um, Don Julio, but better. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's all. I don't think there's anything else to add. So have a great day and uh, get stoked for the season.